Chapter 16 Letter 15 Wealth is a byproduct of diligence hash I highly admire the phrase work hard to be a nobleman It is a motto that makes me respect for eternal life Wealth is an accident, a byproduct of hard work The achievement of each goal comes from diligent thinking and diligent action, and the same is true for realizing the dream of wealth. The quickest way to end your life is to do nothing. Everyone has the right to choose retirement as the beginning or the end. That kind of inactive attitude to life can poison people. In this letter, the author emphasizes that wealth is not the result of luck or chance, but rather a byproduct of diligent thinking and action. He praises the motto work hard to be a nobleman and suggests that this mindset can lead to a lifetime of respect and success. The author also warns against an inactive attitude towards life, as it can poison people and ultimately lead to a quick end. The value that can be learned from this letter is the importance of hard work and diligence in achieving success. It is easy to believe that wealth or success can come easily or through shortcuts, but the reality is that it requires consistent effort and a willingness to persevere through challenges. The author also highlights the value of choosing to actively engage with life and to take responsibility for one's own success. Chapter 17 Letter 16 Prevent Yourself From Making Excuses Hash Once the coward fails, he will always find a good excuse, and then hold on to it. And always use this excuse to explain to himself and others, why he can no longer do it, why he cannot succeed. At first, he himself knew that most of these excuses were lying, but after repeated use, he would become more and more convinced that it was completely true. Believing that this excuse was the real reason for his failure to succeed, and as a result his brain started laziness and rigidity reduced the motivation to work hard to win. But they never want to admit that they are a person who loves making excuses. Concentration and perseverance account for 95% of a person's ability. This letter addresses the issue of making excuses for failure and how it can become a destructive pattern. The author notes that those who are prone to making excuses often convince themselves that their excuses are valid and become complacent in their failures. He emphasizes the importance of concentration and perseverance in achieving success, suggesting that these qualities account for 95% of a person's ability. The value that can be learned from this letter is the need to take responsibility for one's own failures and to avoid making excuses for them. It is easy to blame external circumstances or other people for our own shortcomings, but ultimately it is up to us to overcome challenges and persevere towards success. The author also highlights the importance of concentration and perseverance, qualities that can be cultivated and developed through intentional effort and practice. Chapter 18 Letter 17 You have the seeds of success in your hands hash. You have to exercise faith and keep exploring the reasons for hesitation until faith replaces doubt. You have to know that you can't achieve what you don't believe in yourself. Faith is the force that drives you forward. Your diamond is not between the distant mountains and the sea. If you are determined to dig, the diamond is in your backyard. The important thing is to sincerely believe in yourself. In this letter, the author emphasizes the importance of having faith in oneself and in one's ability to achieve success. He suggests that the seeds of success are already within us, and that it is up to us to cultivate them through belief and exploration. The author also emphasizes the importance of taking action towards our goals, noting that the diamond we seek is not necessarily far away but may be found in our own backyard. The value that can be learned from this letter is the importance of having faith in oneself and one's ability to achieve success. 
It is easy to doubt oneself or to feel overwhelmed by challenges, but by cultivating belief and taking action towards our goals, we can achieve great things. The author also highlights the importance of exploration and perseverance in the pursuit of success, suggesting that we must be willing to dig deep and look within ourselves for the seeds of success. Chapter 21 Letter 20, Taking Risks to Take Advantage of Opportunities Hash No matter what we do, or even our lives, we must choose between taking risks and being cautious. And sometimes, the chance of winning by taking risks is much greater than by being cautious. In this letter, the author discusses the importance of taking risks and being willing to seize opportunities. He explains that in life, we are often faced with the choice between taking risks and being cautious, and that sometimes the chance of winning by taking risks is much greater than by being cautious. He encourages readers to be brave and take calculated risks, and do not let fear hold them back from pursuing their goals and dreams. One value that can be learned from this letter is courage. The author emphasizes the importance of being brave and taking risks, even in the face of uncertainty and potential failure. This is an important lesson for anyone who wants to achieve success, as taking risks and stepping outside of one's comfort zone is often necessary in order to reach new heights. An example of this value in action can be seen in the story of Elon Musk, who took a huge risk by investing most of his fortune into SpaceX, a company that had never launched a rocket successfully. Despite the potential for failure, Musk believed in his vision and was willing to take the risk in order to achieve his goals. Today, SpaceX is one of the most successful space companies in the world, and Musk is one of the wealthiest and most successful entrepreneurs. Chapter 22 Letter 21, Insult is a Motivation Hash People who are good at thinking and acting know that arrogance and prejudice must be eliminated. And they know that they can never let their own personal prejudices hinder their own success. Dad clenched his fists in his heart and swears solemnly to himself, One day, you will become the richest person in the world. What's the point of letting a photographer take a picture of you? Let the most famous painter in the world give you a portrait is your pride. In this letter, the author discusses the importance of eliminating arrogance and personal prejudices in order to achieve success. He emphasizes the importance of self-reflection and the need to constantly improve oneself, and argues that insults can be a powerful motivator for self-improvement. One value that can be learned from this letter is humility. The author argues that success is often hindered by arrogance and personal biases, and that it is important to remain humble and constantly strive to improve oneself. This is an important lesson for anyone who wants to achieve success, as it requires a willingness to accept constructive criticism and to be open to learning from others. An example of this value in action can be seen in the story of Warren Buffett, who is known for his humility and willingness to learn from others. Despite being one of the most successful investors in history, Buffett is known for his down-to-earth demeanor and willingness to admit his mistakes. He is constantly seeking new knowledge and is always open to feedback and criticism, which has helped him achieve great success in his career. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and follow us for more.